Are you curious how mankind made history by stepping foot on moon? Trajectory planning of the spacecraft was not an easy task for simple motion calculations. Rudolf Kalman's Kalman filter played a significant role in this tedious task. Hello all, I Sanjana will help you understand what a Kalman filter is and how it can be implemented to predict and estimate the state of a system in MATLAB. When you plan a trip to a wildlife sanctuary, as soon as you buckle up, you punch in the coordinates to the location. The GPS pulls out appropriate routes based on traffic and travel time. Your current position is to be updated say every 10 seconds to provide a precise route. Now, the knowledge of input acceleration and relative speed is also essential. So, how do we calculate the present state or position of a car? We have sensors such as IMU, GPS and odometer. IMU provides the car's acceleration and angular velocity using an accelerometer and gyroscope respectively. The GPS receiver locates the true position of a car on Earth via the signals received from satellites. And relative distance travelled by a car is provided by the odometer. These values are interpreted by the navigation system to estimate or predict the trajectory. Now, have you considered how easy it was to navigate through the various lanes and drive through the correct exit and not get lost in a tunnel? The IMU readings can be affected by road conditions and changes in the acceleration of the car. GPS data is accurate but the signal might be weak when you are travelling in a tunnel. This is how the process noise is introduced in the system. Also, the sensors used in the measurements will always have some error in them due to uncertainty in measured variables, delayed update intervals and driving environment. Naturally, state prediction cannot be based on data from a single sensor. Therefore, the Kalman filter uses the data available from all these sensors together to estimate the optimal position of the car. Kalman filter provides an optimal estimation of a system based on the sensor's past data and predicts the future position. This process of measuring, correcting, predicting is recursive. Thus, a Kalman filter is an optimal estimation algorithm used when the state of the system is measured indirectly. It is commonly applied when measurements from various sensors are available but are subjected to noise. Now, let us break down the math behind it. Let us look at the car dynamic equations. Wk is the process noise with mean 0 and covariance r. Vk is measurement noise with mean 0 and covariance q. In general, naturally occurring phenomena follow normal distribution, also known as Gaussian distribution. The Gaussian curve is called probability density function for normal distribution. The measurement errors are said to be distributed normally. This assumption is of significance in the Kalman filter design. We also have to consider the car model equations. Computationally, combining the car dynamics and car model equations, we arrive at this equation which is similar to the state observer equation. This is used to further arrive at priori and posteriori state estimates. Prior estimate, as the name suggests, is calculated prior to or before the current measurement is taken. It predicts the current state by using state estimates from past time step and current input. The posterior estimate uses measurements from sensors and incorporates them into the prediction stage to update the prior estimate. Therefore, we can conclude that Kalman filter follows two steps. Prediction step where it predicts the future state of the system for given past measurements and update step. This estimates the current state of the system for the given measurement at that time step. Now let us look at how to implement a Kalman filter in MATLAB. This virtual example of a pendulum is the work of Melda and we will be using it to understand the implementation of the Kalman filter in MATLAB. Let us understand the free body diagram of the system to arrive at its state space equations. We will assume zero friction pendulum system. The attribute of interest is the angular position theta. Say that we are using a rotary potential angle sensor to measure this data and that this measurement is noisy. 
This corresponds to measurement noise. The pendulum is suspended from a rigid body and initiated at an angle. It oscillates back and forth due to gravity before settling down at the center of equilibrium. The otherwise linear system has non-linearity term given by sin theta. For smaller values of theta, the system settles down fast and function acts linearly. This is the linearized equation of motion. We thus derive these state space equations and state space matrices using them. We are going to implement this system in Simulink. The Kalman filter is a state estimation designed for a simple linear stochastic system. We begin with selecting the pendulum block modeled using Simscape multibody, which can be used to represent a mechanical system. This system also solves the equations of motion for the model system. We can define the mass inertia dimensions of this pre-built pendulum and the output is the pendulum joint position theta. Let us set the input torque T and the process noise with zero. The measurement noise in the system arising from the sensor measurement is provided by band limited white noise block. This value is set to 1 e power minus 6 and providing a sampling time of 1 e power minus 2. We are going to combine the measured and actual position values using a max and multiply it by a gain of 180 by pi to convert the radians into degrees. The dmax block is used to extract the individual signals. Connect a scope to observe the signals individually. The simulation results provide us with this graph. The noisy angular position output is given in yellow and the actual theta is given in blue color. Let us see the effect of Kalman filter. I will now build the model along with you. For the virtual pendulum model, add a Kalman filter block, process noise given by band limited white noise block and a selector block. Double click and open the Kalman filter block. Under time domain, select continuous time domain. You can use discrete time domain when you are implementing hardware using a microcontroller in real time. Under model parameters, select individual ABCD matrices and fill in the appropriate values calculated using mass, length and gravity which were defined earlier. Set the initial state to pi by 18 under initial estimate. For noise characteristics Q, set the value to diagonal 0, 1e e power minus 3 for process noise covariance and for the measurement noise covariance represented by R, set a value of 1 e power minus 4. N is the cross covariance matrix. It is used to store the correlation between process and measurement noise. This value is 0 as they are uncorrelated in our example. Simulation results show the actual theta in the dark blue color, measured theta in light blue and estimated theta in pink. Now, if you run the model with initial state set at pi by 2, that is 90 degrees, you will see the non-linearity introduced in the system. To eliminate this, we will use a state estimator designed to accommodate for non-linearity introduced by either measurement or state transition functions. Before going ahead, I would like to highlight that only 5.5% of our viewers have subscribed to our channel. If you love our work, then do support us by subscribing to our channel. Every time we are hit with uncertainty, we are up against a non-linear system. It is inherent in nature and an engineer plays significant role to think ahead and plan a rescue mission when dealing with non-linearity. Going back to the car example, if we consider the road friction and gust of wind blowing at high speed, then non-linearity is introduced in our system. An extended Kalman filter linearizes the non-linear function around the mean of the current state estimates. Linearization is performed at every step locally, resulting in Jacobian matrices which will be used further in predicting update states of the Kalman filter. To implement it in MATLAB, use the extended Kalman filter block from the control system toolbox. Running the simulation, we can see that the pendulum system is no longer non-linear and settles at under 1 second. The yellow is measured theta, green is actual theta and cyan is estimated theta. But this extended Kalman filter fails when higher order systems are considered due to computation cost of analytically calculating the Jacobians. The uncentered Kalman filter and particle filter are used as non-linear state estimators. 
Kalman Builder finds its use in object tracking, navigation system, motion based object tracking and computer vision. We saw how Kalman filter is computationally efficient, requires limited memory and extended Kalman filter can handle small non-linearities. In the unsalted Kalman filter, PDF is approximated by sampling of points which are Gaussian in nature and to account for the arbitrary nature of the non-linear system, a particle filter is designed. To learn more, visit the blog with the link mentioned in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future, MATLAB is a feature. Happy MATLABing!